bonkers, totally eccentric. Hi, I'm Roz, creative content editor at Condé Nast Traveller. And I'm Lulu, co-founder of Pop-Up Restaurant and restored vintage store G13. And this is our guide to Notting Hill. Our favourite London neighbourhood. Shut up. I've been coming to Notting Hill since I was a teenager, when weekends would typically revolve around Portobello Market, vintage shops and pubs. I grew up in Notting Hill. I've lived here for ages, so we go way back. Here are some of our favourite Notting Hill places for you to check out. This is the start of Portobello Road, home to the world's most famous and largest antiques market. It has over a thousand dealers selling every kind of antique and collectible. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Saturday is the busiest day, when people flock from far and wide to rummage for treasure, silver, jewels, vintage handbags, coats, old records, furniture, you name it. Portobello Road is also home to one of the oldest working cinemas in Britain, the Electric Cinema. So this cinema, apparently, the serial killers in Notting Hill used to hide out in this building. Oh, I used yeah. to hide out here on dates. I just remember the cocktail sausages here. <laughs> I find it so hard to walk down Notting Hill on the weekend without picking up a bunch of flowers or at least spending loads of time admiring and smelling them. Once a mere country lane connecting Notting Hill with Kensal Green, Portobello Road began to host a weekly farmer's market, which spread to include bric-a-brac stalls from the mid-20th century, then eventually antiques. Les Coeurs de Chien on Goulburn Road is one of the best antique shops in the area. So cool in here. Selling everything, from Murano glass chandeliers to Art Deco mirrors and framed butterflies. Oh, like one of those things that... Established about 25 years ago by Jerome Dodd, it's great for sourcing unusual antiques and natural history curiosities. I am really obsessed with these. The problem is, it's making me buy them. Apparently you can't put them in the dishwasher. You'll find such a unique mix of styles and periods, which they source from all over the world, particularly from European antique stores and private sellers. Don't look at the tag. I can't see it from here. What is this? Okay, is that a langoustine? Uh, where? Oh, he hasn't even written the label. Ah, it probably is a langoustine. Can I just say, I actually know what that is. I actually know what it is. What is it? I think it's a shield bug. A shield bug? (laughs) Is that not right? On to the next. Purple's rank. I'm going to go with white. What? Oh no, Roz. I would have thought you would have gone with like... Or I I could do the the dark green. And now for a cosy retreat from the rain. The Windsor Castle is a Notting Hill legend. Open since 1835, when it served ales to farmers on the way to market. Cheers. Back to the old local, eh? (laughs) It feels more like a village pub than a London boozer. The pub does a fantastic Sunday roast, and the beer garden here has heaters. Always a bonus in the UK. And this is like the perfect little cosy corner, like dark wood paneling. Country pub, Its snug corners and oak panelled walls make it very easy to while away an afternoon with friends. Where do you feel like going next? I feel like I've had probably enough to drink now. I think it's time to go and get some food. You keen? Yeah. One of the easiest ways to lure my East London friends over to Notting Hill is with one word, Mazzy. Easily the best Greek restaurant in London. Welcome to Mazzy. Yeah, yeah Maz! Mazzy means together in Greek, and the restaurant celebrates this culture of sharing food. Also, while the food really is in its own league, the interiors are pretty low key and welcoming. It's the perfect lunch stop after a morning at Portobello Market with imaginative small plates such as grilled octopus with olive tapenade and jars of grilled aubergine with soy, thyme and honey. How good is that? It's insane. It's actually amazing. No Greek salad and barley rock. Yummy. Wow. Right, and all, the olive oil that they use is just insane. And trust me, you'll order everything. Just don't forget the feta tempura. It is seriously good. Weird. 
lemon marmalade and sweet paper meringue on the top. Holy! They look like little like pavlovas on the top. I think we have to go all in in one bite. So do I. So do I. So heavenly. Oh, that is so good. Look, look. That's like a marshmallow inside there. Don't play with your food. Oh, sorry. It actually tastes a bit like cheese when that, you have. It is. It is cheese. No. no. <laughs> So, this is the shredded lamb shank with cumin yogurt and chives and a side of riyadh. Mmm, super tender, really rich flavour, unbelievable. Having gorged on Greek food and perked ourselves up with a strong Greek coffee. We're back on Portobello Road to visit Found and Vision, a vintage clothing store full of collectibles and fun, wacky pieces. The purple one. That's very you. When you say it's very me, I can tell you. No, no, that's not an insult. It's not an insult. I love it. London's pre-love fashion and vintage scene is booming, and this is the place for it. Hi! Following an impressive career as a high-profile stylist, Karen Clarkson decided to set up her own pre-loved store in the beating heart of London's vintage scene and directly below her flat in Portobello. Yeah. I never made it past the shop on my weekend runs. I'd give up and go inside to have a rummage. They have such a good eye here. Completely ruined my weekend exercise plan, but I'd offset any guilt with the knowledge that buying pre-loved clothing is a great way to slow down the fashion wheel. Am I going to fit into this? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're making it look like it's hard to do up. See, I feel, I feel like this is <laughs> Okay, there are children. Let's go. <laughs> Goodbye. Finally, a day in Notting Hill isn't complete without a strong cocktail at Trailer Happiness. You'll feel like you're walking to a shop window display on Portobello Road before heading downstairs. So everything is rum here, as you probably ascertained from the uh, <laughs> the bar of rum. <laughs> um, <laughs> Absinthe. <laughs> this subterranean drinking den specialises in rum cocktails with a tiki twist. It's a celebration of of different parts of the Caribbean, with, but within the Nine Hill Gate community. It's a social spirit. It's not. It's not. Um, it's not elitist. The owner, Sly Augustine, a born and bred Notting Hillite, spent a great deal of time down in this bar and jumped at the opportunity when it came up for sale. This is a really nice example of an aged rum. And having spent summers swatting up on the key rudiments of the spirit in St Lucia, his knowledge of the spirit is pretty impressive. Fun. She kind of take you on a journey, so the front palate, she gets a certain That's a hit from it. mental. And then it continues to just kind of grow. Yeah. That's actually really finish, mental. Right? That was delicious. She had a proper cocktail. Mm -hmm. It really is like stepping off the street into a different dimension. The dimmed moody lighting, the kitsch decor, the jazz club-like layout with small low tables and pounding music. Okay. Good. That's banging. That is so nice. See you tomorrow. <laughs> It's just like, hands the man. Look at this. Holy smokes. Ooh, literally. That's so cool. Oh, is that cinnamon? Yes. It actually smells a bit like Christmas. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. A weekend in Notting Hill is a weekend well spent. I feel so lucky to have grown up so here. Fun. It truly is one of London's best You are the most fun on Rum. The most fun. I'm fun when I do. <laughs>